I'm at Coors Field, just like with the A's. I'm not trying to make money off of Major League Baseball or the Rockies or Coors Field or the Phillies, but not everyone has a chance to go to a game at Coors Field, so I'm gonna show you what it's like, and this video will not be monetized. All right, to get out of here, remind me, HP Valley and Buckaroos, because I gotta be at this gate to leave to make it back to the train on time. And I think it goes without saying, but Mets fan, so I'm hoping for another loss on the Phillies record, so really pulling for the Rockies today. I gave you that Jackie Robinson trivia in Oakland, so uh, any Rockies trivia or history? I know the Rockies are one of two National League teams to never win their division. The other, leave it in the comments. I'll let you know in the next video. Don't look it up, but leave your guess in the comments. My friend asked me, I got it right away. Well, not right away, but I got it on two guesses, the two right answers. Nice view of the city and the mountains way off in the distance. This is pretty cool. So I was here once, it was like 99. Only thing besides the fact that they were playing the Dodgers I remember is that the guy with the t-shirt cannon got one to leave the stadium because we're a mile above sea level. That was cool. Don't remember who won, but I was here a very long time ago. They were actually giving out mouse pads back then, which was funny because like computers weren't all too common. We got our first one in the house in 95, I think, and this was like 98 or 99. We still have those mouse pads. I have a very thin one I take with me on the road. This is a thicker one, some jewelry company that's had a deal with the Rockies for a long time. And uh, that's still the one I use. It's on the desk in my room in my parents' house. So uh, that thing's gonna last forever. And it's cool that I still have it now I'm back in the Rockies game. 325, row 11, even though the guy told me it's the second row, and seat 13. Lucky 13. Pretty good view. Pete Alonzo won the home run derby here two years ago, I bet that. I was standing in the food court in Harris watching it. So this is not zooms at all from my seat. This is pretty good. It's actually a much better view as they raise the music. A much better view than the camera is making it out to be. This is a very, very good view for third deck, 11th row. And I remember this, uh, that purple row of seats, that is the row that is exactly one mile above sea level because we're in Denver, 5280 above sea level, give or take. No, that purple row is exactly, and it goes all around the stadium as long as there's seats. Doing fishing licenses, biologists are able to monitor populations and help Colorado's 960 different animal species thrive. Gotta show you the first pitch. Ball one. All right, in the top row here. Few things after the first half inning. Feltner's not throwing strikes. He's thrown like 40 pitches, more balls than strikes. He walked four. The Phillies are up four nothing. So it doesn't look like I'm gonna see the end of the game if the Rockies aren't really going to uh, throw any strikes and they're going to have to use their entire bullpen. Also, it's early, doesn't look like the Rockies are winning. Uh, I don't think I mentioned this, Herbs and Ryan and I had a bet in the A's-Mets game because the A's are his team. He said, and I'm out of breath because I'm so high up now, I walked up all those stairs and I'm more than a pile above sea level right now. Um, the Mets won, they were a big favorite, but the Mets won, so Herbs and Rye owed me a dinner. I can't remember if it was Tacos El Gordo or El Dorado, but I won that bet. And for this game, same bet. I took the Rockies, he took the Phillies. For one, it's fair for me to take the dog because I had the big favorite in the Met game. And I'm just not ever going to pull for the Phillies because they're a rival of the Met. So it's looking like that bet is going to even out. And next time we go to El Dorado, we just uh, pay for our own food. Also, Charlie Blackman isn't playing. Uh, I guess he's hurt. I don't know. I don't keep up on the Rockies like that. And for some reason, way more Phillies fans here than Rockies fans. Didn't know this was like a common place for people from Philly to move to or go on vacation or anything, but way more Phillies fans. So I'm going to that purple row in deep left field foul territory. It's gonna be, I've been here about an hour. I only have about another hour before I have to get to the train. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm seeing close to all nine innings, but uh, I'm gonna get close to the exit that is close to that uh, street 
to the train. So different perspective for the next uh, three innings or so. So I didn't know that this area was roped off. I saw from my seats no one's sitting over here, but we can't go over there. I can't get to the purple row, but it is a different perspective and I'm a lot closer to the exit I'm going to need to use. And uh, only down two, even after that first terrible inning, Rocky's only down two with two runners on. So they could definitely win. I'm just not going to see all nine innings this game. dropped one run scored now it's second and third sorry if I was barely getting that I was looking more through my eyes not through the uh, camera but hope I got a little of it I'll find out later when I'm editing Trejo just hit one just foul right there down the line that would have put him up one if it were fair and a home run but I got to get going to the train so this is the, the last plate appearance I'm gonna watch one two count to Trejo right at Schwarber Two outs, I gotta get going though. Bottom of the sixth, Rockies are down one. There's a runner on with two outs, I gotta go to the train. Uh, I'll let you know in the final scene of this video whether the Rockies won or not. If the Rockies win, Herbs and Rye owes me two dinners. If the Phillies win, we're even, but I gotta get going. I said to remind me, find Buckaroos in HP Valley. Here I am, and here I go. Gate E, and the street back to the train. All right, uh, I'm at the airport, but I know the Phillies won 7-4, so Herbs and Rye won this bet, so the A's game and this game cancel out. No one owes anyone any dinner um, when he comes back for the end of May to get ready for the series, and we overlap for a few days. We're going to Texas Day Brazil, I know that, and I guess uh, El Dorado, and no one owes anything, just paying for ourselves, having a good time at some nice restaurants.